In this video we're going to look at a rule of thumb for regular monthly deposits. So into a savings account. So let's have a look at this example. Jim calculates that if he makes a deposit of $50 each month at an APR of 2.4%, then at the end of three years he'll have $1,500. Can you quickly tell if Jim is correct? Is that going to be true? Is there some quick way of just kind of looking at that and making maybe one calculation and saying whether this is right or wrong? Or too low, maybe, or too high, or, or what do you think? And think about the total amount of deposits over three years. So he's thinking about making a deposit of $50 each month, right? For three years, is he just going to have $1,500? What do you think? Well, let's see. If you take 50 and multiply it by 12, that would be the amount of deposits in one year, right? Which is $600, right? And then times that by 3, and that is $1,800 altogether for three years, right? So the 1500 is definitely too low, right? Uh, because the thing is, I mean, it has to be at least $1,800 because we're just counting up the amount of money from deposits only. We're not even thinking about the interest these things are going to be earning. So the point is the, uh, the amount of money in the the balance has to be more than the amount of deposits together, right? So we know 1500 is definitely too low. So we're going to write down just a quick rule of thumb for uh, regular deposits like this. And how about what wording should we use? The final balance must be more than the total of all deposits. How about that? Because you were, it has to, final balance has to be more than 1800 right? Because we're going to earn interest on it. So how about, first rule of thumb, uh, the final balance must be more than the total of all deposits. the sum total, right? Okay, so now let's have a look at another thing. Bill says that the correct amount is $2,000. Can you quickly figure out if Bill is correct? So there's a kind of a... There's one other thing we can think about really quickly. Um, so, you know, if you imagine that all deposits were invested at the very beginning. Now, all deposits means $1,800, right? So imagine that $1,800 was invested at the very beginning and you quickly just figured out what would the compound interest be, right? So, uh, let's do that and see what we get. So we're just going to imagine we're investing $1,800, use compound interest, okay? So that's 1 plus... 2.4% is 0 0.024. We got to divide by 12, right? To the power of what? Um, to the power of let me just check the so to the power of 12 months times uh, 3, right? So that's 12 times 3, so that's, you know, 1800 times 1 plus 0 0.0. Um, let's see. 0, 2, right? To the power of 36. And um, we'll just quickly figure that out. 1.002 to the power of 36 and then times that by 1800 
and that's one nine three four twenty four. Okay. Which is less than two thousand dollars. So I guess this isn't really the smartest thing in the world. I, I kind of like this rule of thumb, didn't you? Just, just if you just quickly, you know, calculate the amount of the deposits. Well, that means you know you have to have more than eighteen hundred dollars in there because you're earning interest, not just you're not just going to get your deposits back, right? This one's a little bit funny, but I mean that it, I I do like to, I do want to do this calculation just so we get to think about the fact that um, it's dip when you're putting in fifty dollars a month and earning interest on this this balance that is gradually in increasing that's different than throwing eighteen hundred dollars in at the very beginning of three years and just sitting back and letting that accumulate interest okay our amount has to be less than this okay so our amount so the correct balance okay the correct balance has to be less than nineteen hundred thirty four dollars and it has to be greater than eighteen hundred it has to be less than how much you would get by just throwing all of the money into the account at the start of the year and it has to be more than just all the money together right the eighteen hundred so we could we could say that uh, from from this line the final balance must be um, less than what it would be if all deposits were invested together at the start of the term so the final balance must be Um, then what you would have or less than if all deposits were invested together at the start Okay, so um, the correct balance has to be less than this and more than this, basically, right? So go ahead and find the correct balance using the formula. So the balance equals deposit times 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1 all over r, right? So press pause and calculate that, and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. R equals what? The um, APR is 2.4%. So the monthly interest rate, R is what we're interested in, the monthly interest rate, that's 2.4% over 12 which is 0 0.2 percent over sorry sorry 0 0.2 percent of course which is um, as we've calculated already 0 0.002 okay and of course 1 plus r would then be 1.002 and t would be what how many total deposits is, is uh, Jim going to make three years fifty dollars each month so that would be fifty times twelve right times three. Oh, sorry what am I talking about T number of deposits twelve times three three equals thirty six deposits right so what we have is the deposit amount is going to be fifty dollars times one plus r is one point zero zero two to the power of t 36 minus 1 and the whole thing over r which is 
0 0.002. Oh, sorry. So we should have this. And let's put that in the calculator and see what we get. I'm going to do um, 1.002 to the power of 36. Press enter or equals, then subtract 1, then multiply that by 50, and divide by 0 0.002, and we should have 1864.451. Eight, etc. Right. So approximately what to the nearest cent? One thousand eight hundred sixty-four dollars forty-five cents. Right, which is indeed more than the eighteen hundred, which is just the amount of money that you would deposit. Right. So we get 1864 about. And of course it's less than what you would get if you put all the money into an account paying this interest just at the beginning of three years, right?